welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed for you guys in a while, so why not just film a disabled sex video? So let's get right on into the video. Okay, uh, this one is a pretty nifty little perk about being disabled, and it is cutting in front of lines in amusement parks. And the way I found this out was when I was like 9 or 10, me and my family and a friend of mine, we had gone to Knoebels, and I am from Pennsylvania, so if you know Knoebels, I think we were going on the teacups or whatever, and this guy, he noticed me going on the going in the line and then going to, you know, on it like a normal person. So he noticed me, he noticed I was physically disabled, and he followed me and my friend, and I was like, this guy is so creepy, like he honestly, I could picture it now. He had duct tape on his pants to make sure that they don't fall apart. Like who does that? It was normal duct tape. It was so weird and sketch and I did not want any part of it. I honestly was like, this guy is so creepy. But he followed me and my friends, my parents, and then he's like, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but your daughter, I noticed, is disabled, and because of this, she can get in front of lines. And my parents had no idea about this. Now I know that I'm just informing you guys, since you guys are, a, I have a platform to do this. I can inform you that you can get in front of lines if you're physically disabled. I don't know if it's the same about veterans, but I know it's the same about physically disabled. So I've seen this happen so many times. So what they'll do is you go to a first aid or you go to a human resources desk at the at you know in the beginning of a in the beginning of the in the beginning of the amusement park. So you can find the first aid center or you can go to a human resources center or whatever it's called and you can ask for a wristband. Or you can call them and say, hey, I'm physically disabled, um, are there any services or are there anything that you know you guys provide that can you know help me in being able to skip lines or whatever. Just be nice, be kind, whatever. Do that and then figure out what services they have because sometimes they'll have wristbands, sometimes they'll have timesheets. The timesheets work like Fast Pass is doing Disney, like they give you a time to come back and ride the ride, but you also have to go on the exit side. So you don't go through the normal entrance, you go through the exit. And it's really cool because I've done this in Disney and I, me, me and my uncle, we did this like five times in this one roller coaster, okay? And this one time I was like, I was like talking to him, he's a whole roller coaster buff. So he goes, okay, we're gonna get the front row this time. I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. And the timesheets don't work like a fast pass in this sense because they ask you if you wanna do a second time, okay? They ask you if you wanna go on the ride a second time and you can say yes or no. Normally I said yes because I love roller coasters and I love flumes and I love any ride. It happens on any ride. So you can do this for literally any ride that you want. And it doesn't discriminate against any ride so you can do this for the teacups, you can do this for like the swings, you can do this for anything. It's it's really cool because I saw someone in a room in a wheelchair do this. Um, uh, someone like a like a um, a little person do this. It's really interesting because most people don't know about it. It's totally unspoken. It's unwritten anywhere. Like you, I don't even know if you can Google it. Like it's so weird. Um, but I found this out because of a, a carny followed me and my friend to my parents and told them, like, who does I did I did this in Bush Gardens, I did this in Disney, I did this in Knoebel, Six Flags, Hershey Park, Dory Park, anywhere possible. It's so easy, all you have to do is do what I said and then you'll get your fan or your timesheet. And I did this also in Six Flags and I was in eighth grade at this point and I got on El Toro, if you guys know what that ride is, it's, the, it's like the highest wooden roller coaster on the East Coast. And I did this with my friends mainly because we were like literally about to go in to see the results of our choir concert or our choir contest or whatever so I was like hey let's ride El Toro. They're like okay sure. So we went through the exit and we got on right away and it was perfect and it was so fun. It was a blast and I still have the memory in my head that we went on that like within five minutes opposed to waiting in that huge line and dealing with the crowds. 
So if you do not like crowds, if you don't like lines, if you don't like this, if you don't like that, and you're also physically disabled, like I am, I hate lines, I hate them, it's too, I honestly don't like them at all. So if you are like me, you can skip the lines because you're physically disabled. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want, there's a beautiful red button down below you can hit and join the party. It's totally free, but I'm not forcing you to do anything you don't want to. Also, right next to it is a notification bell. You can hit that and be notified of anything I upload on this channel. Okay, I love you. Stay beautiful, positive, and you're so much